Come on. I don't know what I got, y'all, but I'm on. Please be 22. Right there, corner of the mouth, kicker crab. Saves the day. Let's go, man. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. This is the fish we needed. What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? It's Matt, Matt Niak, and I'm back with another tip for you guys. We recently just put out a video about one of the common mistakes that people make with the kicker crab. And it was often that people usually overwork those baits. They'll twitch them like a jerk shad or even um, run them a little too fast or a little high in the water column for the application that they're intending. So one one of the questions that we actually ended up getting after that video was about hook choice. So I wanted to be able to address uh, maybe the differences in the ways those hook choices uh, actually perform underwater. So what I did was I actually went to my super fancy state-of-the-art underwater testing facility. And by that, I do mean my pool. So I went and decided to see what these would look like underwater. Now, when I did, I was actually surprised at the results because they even shocked me a little bit. Now, I knew that these kicker crabs, like you guys see right here, I do have it rigged up on a Texas uh, jig head. That's what I most commonly use uh, with this uh, with this bait with the kicker crab and that's because I usually fish it in presentations or in situations that are going to be more than a foot and I'm usually working it in a way that I'm trying to make contact with the bottom and usually run it along the bottom even slowly bumping the bottom but I have also used it with these chin lock Z's these are a different option here as you guys can see these are essentially just a weedless weighted hook option with the weight there center weighted rather than in the front like you guys see here with the texas uh, jig head uh, as you guys can see there trying to hold it up for you with that jig head there in the front what that actually does is keep this more on the bottom there uh, so when you're working this on the bottom uh, that will help you maintain constant contact with the bottom when you're working this especially in areas with heavy current so let's go ahead and jump to the underwater testing facility so that you guys can see how these perform underwater so the first option i decided to try was the chin lock z the area you can see here is about 14 inches deep it's not too far from a jet so it is getting some reciprocal current but as you guys see here these are just with slight raises of the rod tip and it's actually jumping this crab off of the bottom and it takes a second or three to get back to the bottom now if i use this option it's going to be fished much slower and in much shallower situations when i'm trying to avoid getting hung up in something like oyster bars now if you guys can see right here this is the texas side jig head if i use this it makes contact with the bottom much quicker also that pendulum swinging claw on the back end is able to swing freely with the current and as it flows now that's one thing i like to do when i'm using this is maintain constant contact with the bottom and let the current work this lure for me these z-man baits have buoyant properties so they have a natural tendency to float just like you guys can see here now as i've said before i don't do any major rod twitches with these baits just slow pulls of the rod tip all right so now that you guys have been able to see how these perform underwater you see why i may choose to use uh this texas side uh, jig head right here 90 percent of the time and that's going to be because where i tend to be working this at is going to be in areas around three foot two foot and i'm trying to get this bait down there uh on the bottom as quick as i can now again that's not to say that i won't use uh a weedless weighted hook like this chin lock z that you guys can see right here it's center weighted and again even though those may be the exact same weight they do perform very differently under the water surface so just to recap for you guys really quick 
I do like using the kicker crab right here with the Texas side jig head because when I'm using it on bottom, as you guys were able to see in that underwater footage, this tail right here, this really stretchy tail is able to actually float uh, on the bottom there and almost entice those fish just with that current going by. But if I'm looking to work a shallow area, say there's something on the bottom like oyster bars that I like to target with these kicker crabs and that oyster bar is at about a foot deep or so and I need to cast right on on top of them without hanging up that's definitely when I'm gonna steer away from those Texas eye jig heads and I'm gonna throw something like this chinlock Z right here and that's gonna be because it has a much lighter presentation so especially when you're trying to sight fish to redfish or sight cast to them and you want to uh, throw them a presentation that's gonna look natural really enticing but not make a lot of splash this Chinlock Z is going to be the choice for you. So they both have their applications and they both have their perks. They both have their cons. So just so you guys can be able to see the underwater view of these choices. Now, if you guys are interested in picking up either the kicker crab or either one of those hook choices that I've talked about, the Texas side jig head or the chinlock Z, we have all of those options in our online tackle shop at fishstrong.com. Now, if you guys are interested in some more awesome fishing information just like this, we have a whole lot of fishing content. So make sure you like and subscribe or check us out at saltstrong.com where we have a fishing tips page section Full of information that is designed to make you a better angler no matter the species you're looking to target or the time of year you're looking to do it in so if becoming a better angler or exclusive discounts on all your fishing tackle is something you're interested in be sure to check us out at saltstrong.com and until then we'll see you in the next video